Like and subscribe right now, or this spider is gonna crawl on your face while you're sleeping. 10 Scariest Human Diseases That Really Exist Humans have been fighting with viral viruses for ages. For some viral diseases, scientists have discovered vaccines and antiviral drugs to help sick people recover and to control the widespread of infections. Whereas for some, they're still searching. In recent decades, animals have become a vulnerable source of transferring several viruses to humans and have provoked massive outbreaks claiming thousands of lives. And sometimes it seems like there's a new virus trying to kill us that pops up somewhere in the world every other day. While the World Health Organization and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and other health organizations monitor the new coronavirus, officials continue to announce the rapid spread of new COVID-19 infections and deaths around the world. Despite modern sanitary practices, prevention strategies, and vaccines, there is much fear for the tiny and parasitic pathogens, and sometimes it seems like all the hand sanitizer, face masks, and toilet paper in the world can't save us from some of history's nastiest viruses and the most horrifying diseases that they can cause in humans. Today, let's look at some of the deadliest diseases that mankind has encountered throughout history. While you may be familiar with some of the names here, you might be surprised to see the toll that some of these viruses took on humans and their aftermath. Number 10. Rabies Rabies is a viral disease which is passed on through the saliva of an infected animal. Dog bites specifically are the most common reason for infection. However, other animals can also be the reason, such as bats, skunks, raccoons, foxes, and coyotes. After being exposed to the virus, one should get treatment at once, as waiting for the symptoms will make the disease fatal. Vaccination and awareness programs have reduced the spread of the virus. However, it still holds a global problem. Each year, tens of thousands of deaths are caused by rabies, mostly in the rural areas of Southeast Asia and Africa. Rabies progresses in five different stages, named as incubation, prodrome, acute neurological period, coma, and lastly, death. The incubation phase is generally two to three months, with initial symptoms of fever with pain and tingling, prickling, or paresthesia at the wound. Rabies is of two types. One is furious, in which the infected person experiences hyperactivity and hydrophobia. The second one is paralytic, in which the infected person becomes paralyzed, followed by a coma and death. So, Make sure to get your pets vaccinated and see the vet regularly. Before we move on, I've got a challenge for you that will only take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. Leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell. And boom, 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number nine, hantaviruses. Hantaviruses spread mostly through rodents, which exposes different disease signs in humans. Having different types of geographical distributions, each hantavirus can simulate different types of clinical diseases. A different rodent host introduces a different type of hantavirus, and it is spread to the humans via a virus that is shed in urine, wastes, and saliva, and less commonly with the bite of an infected host. For the most part, there are three main clinical syndromes which are identified after hantavirus infection. One is hemorrhagic fever with renal syndrome, mostly caused by Sol, Pomala, and Dobrava viruses. The second one is Nephropathia epidemica, which is a moderate form of HFRS caused by Pomulovirus. And the last one is Cardiopulmonary syndrome, which may be caused by Andes virus, Sinombre virus, and several others. Currently, there is no vaccine available for this disease. Therefore, by eliminating or reducing interaction with rodents is the best way to prevent the spread of this infection. Number eight, smallpox. Smallpox is a contagious and often deadly disease caused by the variola virus. It has affected humans for thousands of years, whereas in 1980, the World Health Organization certified the global eradication of the disease from the world following a global immunization campaign. The disease killed about 30% of those that it infected, however, leaving the survivors with deep, lasting scars and often blindness. 
The early symptoms of the disease are fever, vomiting, and skin rash, which result in fluid-filled bumps with a dent leaving a scar after falling off. The disease spread from one person to another or via infected objects. The only prevention is a smallpox vaccination, which until recently didn't exist. No matter what stories anti-vaxxers may tell you, make sure you've got yourself and your loved ones vaccinated for this one. Number seven, Marburg virus. Marburg virus is the zoonic infection that causes illness marked by severe bleeding, organ failure, and in many cases, death. Other symptoms are fever, arthralgia, headache, myalgia, sore throat, epigastric pain, vomiting, and diarrhea. Marburg virus was first identified in 1967 when an epidemic of VHF occurred in Marburg, Germany to laboratory workers who were exposed to the blood and tissues of African green monkeys that had been imported from Uganda. The main reservoir host of the Marburg virus is an African fruit bat, but a final verdict has yet to be made. From person to person, the virus can be transmitted through direct exposure to blood and other bodily discharges. Marburg virus has a death rate as high as 90% with infected people mostly dying of bleeding into the gastrointestinal tract and skin, shock, disseminated intravascular coagulation, and multi-organ failure. The treatment is limited only to supportive care because there is no antiviral treatment or vaccine that exists for the Marburg virus. By avoiding contact with African animals that may carry the disease and using strict isolation procedures to avoid any bodily fluids or tissues from humans infected with the Marburg viruses, can be the best way to prevent the spread of this viral disease. Number six, rotavirus. Rotavirus, also known as child killer, is a merciless virus that has killed more than half a million children per year. Rotavirus is common in infants and young children. However, older children and adults can also get the infection, although it's normally less severe. Severe watery diarrhea, vomiting, fever, and abdominal pain are common symptoms of rotavirus. Diarrhea and vomiting lead to extreme dehydration in children, which might even become life-threatening. Rotavirus is highly infectious and easily transmittable, as it is present in stool and mainly transmitted between hand and mouth contact. Good hygiene and disinfecting the home are the key solutions to controlling the spread of this virus, but vaccination is the best way to protect your child from this infectious disease. Number five, dengue. Dengue is one of the most lethal viruses humans have ever encountered. Transmitted by mosquitoes, dengue affects more than 100 million people in over 100 endemic countries, causing 20,000 deaths per year. The common symptoms of dengue include high fever and severe headache, severe pain behind the eyes, joint pain, muscle and bone pain, skin rash, and mild bleeding. The symptoms of dengue typically last two to seven days, and most people will recover after about a week. But, if not treated properly, then symptoms may progress to massive bleeding, shock, and eventually death. Such a type of sickness is known as dengue shock syndrome. Currently, there is no vaccine to prevent the general population from contracting it. Therefore, the best way to prevent dengue is by avoiding mosquito bites when outdoors. Make sure to wear clothing that covers your sleeves and legs completely, and take measures to controlling the growth of mosquitoes. Number four, Lassa fever. Lassa fever is an animal-borne viral hemorrhagic sickness caused by the Lassa virus. The Lassa virus can propagate to humans via food or household objects contaminated with urine or feces of infected rats. Lassa fever is an endemic in Togo, Ghana, Mali, Liberia, Guinea, Sierra Leone, Benin, and Nigeria. Approximately 80% of Lassa fever infected patients show only mild symptoms such as fever, general malaise, and weakness and headache. However, the serious symptoms are hemorrhaging, respiratory distress, repeated vomiting, facial swelling, pain in the chest, back and abdomen, and shock. Due to multi-organ failure, death may occur within two weeks. Human-to-human -human infections and laboratory transmissions may occur due to lack of adequate disease prevention and control measures. The overall fatality rate is 1%, and early supportive care with rehydration and symptomatic treatment increase survival chances. However, there is no vaccine or known cure for this disease. Number three, SARS-CoV-2. SARS-CoV-2 is a member of the large family of viruses currently well known as coronaviruses. 
and the first outbreak began in December 2019 in Wuhan, China. It is now a pandemic, affecting many countries globally, and has an estimated mortality rate of about 2.3%. The virus spreads mainly from human to human via small droplets discharged from the nose or mouth of an infecting human during coughing, sneezing, or speaking. Aged people who have underlying health conditions are the most vulnerable to have severe disease or complications. The common symptoms are fever, dry cough, shortness of breath, and the disease can advance to pneumonia in some cases. The discharged droplets can land on any object or surface around the people, and by touching such objects or surfaces, one can get infected. Therefore, it is important to wash your hands regularly with soap and water or clean with alcohol-based hand rub. The conventional or home remedies may provide comfort and mitigate mild COVID-19 symptoms, but as of such, no medications have shown to prevent or cure the virus. The most efficient method to protect yourself and others against COVID-19 are to clean your hands frequently and thoroughly, avoid touching your eyes, mouth, and nose, cover your cough with a bend of an elbow or a tissue. If a tissue is used, make sure to discard it immediately and wash your hands. Also, in case you haven't heard, maintain a distance of at least one meter or six feet from others. As long as we don't have a vaccine or antiviral drug for this disease, let's make sure we all take necessary precautions to keep ourselves and those around us safe and healthy. Number two, influenza. Well, if you're surprised to hear this one's on the list, don't be. Just wait for us to give you some facts and figures on this one. Influenza is a viral infection that attacks your respiratory system, being your nose, throat, and lungs, and it is commonly called the flu. During a typical flu season, up to 500,000 people worldwide will die from the illness, according to WHO. But occasionally, when a new flu strain emerges, a pandemic will result with a faster spread of disease and often higher mortality rates. The deadliest flu pandemic, sometimes called the Spanish flu, began in 1918 and sickened up to 40% of the world's population, killing an estimated 50 million people. It was caused by a H1N1 strain of the virus and was previously unknown to doctors and scientists alike. The first wave of the 1918 pandemic occurred in the spring and it was generally mild. The sick, who experienced such typical flu symptoms as chills, fever, and fatigue, usually recovered after several days, and the number of reported deaths was low. However, a second, highly contagious wave of influenza appeared with a vengeance in the fall of that same year. Victims died within hours or days of developing symptoms, their skin turning blue and their lungs filling with fluid that caused them to suffocate. In only one year, 1918, the average life expectancy of America plummeted by a dozen years. Number one, Black Death. The plague has killed by far the most people, claiming tens of millions of lives around the world. Throughout history, plague epidemics have erupted in several eras, becoming known under different names, such as Athens, Antoninus, Cyprus, and Justinianus. About one-third of Europe's population was wiped out in the 14th century by the bubonic plague, also known as Black Death, because it forms black spots on the skin, making it one of the deadliest diseases recorded in human history. Black Death, which caused great destruction across Europe between 1347 and 1351, estimated to have killed 75 million to 100 million people. The epidemic started in Southwest Asia and reached Europe in the late 1340s. The plague never really ended, and it just returned with a vengeance years later. But officials in the Venetian-controlled port city of Ragusa were able to slow its spread by keeping arriving sailors in isolation until it was clear that they were not carrying the disease, creating social distancing that relied on isolation to slow the spread of the disease. The sailors were initially held aboard their ships for 30 days, a period that was later increased to 40 days or a quarantine. In fact, this is the origin of the term quarantine and a practice that is still used today. The Black Death epidemic had run its course by the early 1350s, but the plague reappeared every few generations for centuries. Modern sanitation and public health practices have greatly mitigated the impact of the disease, but they have not eliminated it. While antibiotics are available to treat the Black Death, According to the World Health Organization, there are still 1,000 to 3,000 cases of plague every year.